Welcome back to live coverage of YCS London 2019. Thank you for tuning on in. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome back to live coverage. I have two duelists here who are coming to the stage to perform, to play for you guys, you know, play a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. So, all the way from Germany, or well, Austria actually. Austria. 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 Gonna get that correct. You're not the same place, all right. Um, <laughs> Marcel Hosch, how are you feeling? How are you feeling today? Uh, pretty good. Uh, the tournament uh, went well for me, the first two rounds, and yeah, it's cool. Okay, so like, how are you feeling about the venue? It's at MCM, you get to see some cool cosplayers, you get to see the voice actors this morning, do the presentation and introduce the rounds and stuff. How did you, what did you think about that? Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, I like London. Uh, I was on the YCS uh, the last year ago, and uh, the venue is really cool, much people, the Comic Con, so I think it's really cool, yeah. All right, okay, okay. Do you think that you're ready for the, you think you're ready for this round? Because you're like 2-0 right now, you're kind of cruising, you're chilling a little bit, you're kind of relaxed. Um, yeah, I think I'm really ready, yeah. I'm confident. Confident even, okay. <laughs> All right, take a seat, Marcel. And your opponent will be with you shortly. And then all the way from the Netherlands. Took a bit of a while to get here, I think. Nick Van Poppel. Yes. Hi. Um, how are you doing, man? Uh, a bit nervous, to be honest. That's yeah, my first feature match, so. But uh, furthermore, I'm good. There's a lot of firsts today. Like a few of the, the players that we had on, uh, their opponents have been there yeah, the first. I can tell you, you know, it's calm, relax. Just playing a game of Yu Gi Oh! in front of a few hundred people. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's all. Yeah. That's all. Um, do you think that you prepared enough for this event? I prepared enough? Well, yeah. I've been playing for a while already. I've played in the deck already for a while, so I think, um, I think I'll do fine. Okay, then what do you think about, you know, did you take part in any of the mini games? Did you, did you see much of the venue actually? No, not yet. I haven't had the time. <laughs> It's, yeah. So you're 2-0 as well. Get ready to go into the third round. Have a seat, man. So without further ado, I'll send you off to the casters for this round. Sebastian Lemke and Leonard Cooney. A happy welcome from our side as well. Our first feature match for the day. We are so hyped for this event. As JJ already told us, my name is Sebastian Lemke. I'm joined for Leonard Koenig for Hi. this tournament. And we already saw a lot of good Yu-Gi-Oh, but we've prepared some more cool, cool Yu-Gi-Oh to be followed, right? It's obviously, I mean, it's a YCS. It is. It would just be weird if we wouldn't have some Yu-Gi-Oh for you guys. So. Absolutely, absolutely. And we have a player from the Netherlands facing someone from Austria. Yeah. And um, we can already tell you we actually picked this match because Marcel is playing like a pretty spicy and interesting it deck. It is the actual spice. Yes, it is. Okay, so they have their headphones on so already. So we can talk about it a little, yes. yeah. He is playing Sky Striker. Okay. <laughs> and everybody okay. would be like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is that sound, special? <laughs> doesn't sound too interesting, but he plays it kind of a bit FTK-ish, <laughs> I would want to say, because he's playing so many draw cards. Yeah. And what the cards he eventually wants to get to are uh, engage. Who cares about engage? <laughs> he wants to have Necro Valley and Royal Tribute. <laughs> Two cards you did not see a lot in the future, uh, I mean, in the past. Yeah, but the, at all. the recent Forbidden Limited list bumped up Royal Tribute to three. First that, and also the meta game seems to be a lot of orcs and a lot of graveyard yeah, dependent decks. Basically, a lot of monsters yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so, if you just drop Royal Tribute to turn one. It was good back in the day, and it seems like it could be very, very good and very, very yeah, powerful I mean, in this meta game right now. And he won his first two rounds, yeah. so looks like he's on a good path I, so I far. I mean, what is Orcus gonna do versus Royal Tribute? I have no uh, answer versus, to that. It looks like you, you lose all your monsters, and then you <laughs> just no. pass back to him, and no. at some point he will go nuts with his Skystriker I mean, monsters. Just attack, attack, attack. Versus Orcus, you don't even need the Royal Tribute, to be honest. You Not just really. need the Necro Valley, and then the deck does nothing anymore. Yeah. Also, versus Solomon Grade, it's super good because they cannot use their effects anymore. If the Necro Valley is on board, yep. but uh, let's face about. Uh, let's talk about the matchup he's facing now. Is that like yes. too good of a matchup then? <laughs> no, it is indeed not. <laughs> not really. Nick is running Paleozoics. <laughs> we have seen them on the stream before. It seems like it's a new yeah. meta game. Yeah, <laughs> best best deck, best deck. <laughs> Paleozoics everywhere yeah. with the with the Frogos, obviously. 
Of course, they're you always can't, together. Can't miss out on the frogs. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he does not really care too much of the royal tribute, <laughs> unless he starts with twenty swap frogs. Twenty-seven but traps in total. Yeah, so it will be hard. <laughs> but yeah, tell me, tell me. Necro Valley kind of hurts. The Ronin totem, yeah. And the Paleozoic traps, as well. You're right. You're right. And but but we have taken a look at the sideboards. We are going to talk about that <laughs> when the time comes. Yes. But that's also pretty spicy. Yeah. And, and we see. Players already yeah. warming up. We are warmed up and we want to see this round three featured match. So let's head over to the table and the players. Ah, feels good to be yeah. back at the casting table with you, Sebastian. It feels good indeed. And as you can see, they're now getting the message. We are ready to go. So let's draw our starting hands. And All right. the die roll could be pretty important right here, because yeah. if Nick can start with his Paleozoic deck, he can set up yeah. a lot of interruptions. Oh, I, I, but I really want to see Marcel pop off. I really want Marcel to start, because I just I, I just need to see this <laughs> this draw, 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 royal tribute. And it would actually hit a dupe frog, so it would not be minus one. Yeah. Let's see, like, how many drawing cards is he playing in this deck? He's playing Desires. He's also playing, of course, as you said, Into the Void. He's playing Upset Goblin. Don't, don't playing forget Engage, because Engage will <laughs> become a draw card at some True. point. It's like all the draw cards that can be activated in the first turn, so you draw through 20 to 30 of your cards in the deck. It, it feels a little bit like to Draco, to be yeah. honest, when it was in full power, where you just would be drawing your whole deck in the yeah. first turn and have all your floodgates available. But he's not drawing for the floodgates, he's drawing for the Royal Tribute Necro Valley combi combo. I mean, Necro Valley kind of a floodgate, if you want. But Draco first did not really play floodgates, because all the floodgates available were not doing anything versus Zodiac, so yeah. they were just playing Skill Drain. Yeah, true, true. And... Uh, I mean, the entire engine with Masterpieces, because Masterpiece was kind of a big thing back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> kind of hard to out. A good card on his own. Yeah, definitely. So, Ma Marcel actually drew into Royal Tribute in his starting hand, so he has yeah. that available. But oh. this card alone, obviously, is yeah. not good, because you need Negrovelli in combination with it. Yeah. But the turn now is not over. I mean, he has the regular Sky Striker stuff. He can search for a ray with Rota, has three spells in Graveton, and then he can activate Area Zero. And, oh, there are two engaged Vanished. Oh, he had to that's activate the Desires very early, which can hurt. Do you think that's the direction Sky Striker actually has to go in the future? To be, like, splashed together with other thing things that are good? Because uh, with a recent Forbidden Unlimited list, it was even more taken away from the deck. Now you only have yep. one Widow Anchor. So the engine of the deck gets smaller and smaller, and you have less cards to play with. Yeah, but I think the deck does not, except for Hornet Drones, obviously, yeah. does not synergize too well with anything else, except for maybe True Dracos, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which is a great deck. I love it. But yeah. I, think, I think that you can just take more good generic cards, put those in the deck, like Phantasm Maze or more Floodgates or Lost Wind. So or just strikes. the engine gets smaller and smaller, and you yeah. have to add more generic yeah. cards, which at some point it is still a Sky Striker deck, but it's joined by yep. a lot of other cards that are just good on its own, right? I mean, once you're in your Ray, you're basically not getting out of it, and Ooh. he hit nothing. He, I mean, he would like to add one of these demises. <laughs> I surely agree on that. But I think Nick is not okay with that, so... Um, Definitely not. They agreed on him putting them back into the deck. Oh, but he has double. There can only be one in his starting And that hand. is ironically good versus a trap deck that likes to run floodgates. Yeah, we saw that in the round one featured match, where there can only be one can really hurt the Paleozoic deck, because you cannot really get out two frogs, as you say, yeah. and you also, like, you can really struggle to establish a board with it. So, he's searching in the end phase now. Is there one engage left in his deck? Yeah. <laughs> Look, he already moves forward the cards he's contemplating to pick. It looked like the one Widow Anchor is still available to him, multi wall as well, so all the one-offs still <laughs> being in his deck. Wait, did he... Did he banish three engages? Possibly. Because I, I do not see a reason to not pick engage. I do agree with you, yeah. So, and he draws for Tron. Oh, and there we yep. see he's main decking White Howling. The White Howling. That is quite draining for our friend Marcel right there, because this card is so good versus the Sky Striker deck. Yeah, as long as you control a water monster, <laughs> that, that was a quick turn. Uh, <laughs> you can banish a spell card from your opponent's graveyard, yes. and then all the spell effects on the field are negated. Yep, indeed they are. So that's really a hard task for Sky Striker, which always are struggling yep. versus 
spell negate, like Imperial yeah. Order hurts the deck so hard. And now he has to set the Metaphors Fusion, because it is a, a really easy plus one. Yeah. But... Does he hit this time? If he doesn't hit, then maybe he can't get rid of any of his back row cards. Oh, Another please show race. it to us. He's doing it off Another screen, ray. basically. Okay. Oh, he has a ray? Another ray. Oh, yeah, he saw. found a ray. Cool, cool. Another demise as well. So, uh, <laughs> plenty of those. Yeah, I mean, not in his hand, obviously, but... I mean, we talked about the deck just drawing into all of uh, the cards first turn, and you yeah. want to draw into your Necro Valley plus Riot Tribute. Yeah. But now, this game plan is, like, kind of bad, because your opponent is playing yeah. a deck where it's ineffective against. So, what do you want to draw into now? You just have a lot of draw power available, but there's no real point you want to draw into, oh? Yep, and um, I'm just taking a look at the deck list right now. Yeah. Uh, when Sky Striker was at full power, basically, mm -hmm. the deck just outgrinded every kind of rope deck. I mean, Absolutely. it outgrinded every other deck. It also outgrinded Goki, because Goki did not want to really grind. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but they just wanted to be the winner yeah. after two and one. But, um, ooh. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting decision. Like, so. Um, he actually decided to attack into the set monster, and yep. I mean, when your opponent is setting a monster and four back row, what kind of decks are you expecting then? Subterra. Okay, but do you want to attack into a set, a subterra? If you have there? four spells in your graveyard, then you would want to. Yes, I think so. So you can actually destroy it, at least. Yeah. It is okay. progress. I mean, he has to win somehow, but uh, I think he maybe has no engage in his deck, and. He probably also has no anchor, and now as <laughs> he also has just one Kagari. It might be difficult to outgrind his opponent because how? That's what I'm saying. You, you have a lot of draw power, but you're not getting anywhere with it. Yeah, I mean, Sky Striker kind of adjusted to the basic rogue strategy that we all yeah. know and love, uh, where you sit on your floodgates, on your trap cards, and then you play around with your engine a bit, but your engine is not really game breaking anymore. It, I feel I feel the same. Actually, the representation of Sky Striker in the tournament is oh, still no, pretty high. Oh no, the Frog can't attack anymore. How is he supposed to win? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He's using the Kaina, the ultimate rare, pretty looking Kaina. And I mean, the effect is negated now. So actually, if he would play out another Dew Frog, so he could actually attack it then, right? Oh, no, it doesn't negate the effect. I'm sorry. No, it absolutely doesn't. Oh, goes and <laughs> oh, match. Oh, goes and match. Ay, 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 ay. That hinders Marcel actually from switching attributes. From switching attributes. And all these guys, like extra deck monsters, always have different attributes. So, just to create some hype, guys, we're basically staring at a, at a game where both players have no out to the other floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that a good situation coming up? I'm not. I mean, this could potentially go into like a deck out war and yeah. Marcel already <laughs> drew so many cards so he's in a disadvantage just yeah. with position right there. Interesting that Nick is playing Card of Demise but no Desires. Why do you think that's interesting? Isn't Card of Demise just better when you draw free cards? Yeah, sure. But Part of Desires has basically no restriction. It doesn't hurt you in Paleozoic and I don't really see the reason why you wouldn't play it. Okay, so you would play both, that's your yeah. argument. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do agree. It's really It makes popular. your deck a lot more consistent. Oh, look at that. So he's actually using the white holing right now. On the multi-roll. And he banished the desires. That's what I'm saying. He did not wait really for a spell card to be in the graveyard. Yeah. That is effective. So like, a, like a fusion. But he, he couldn't use it on the fusion because his uh, dupe frog was, faced, uh, was flipped face down. Oh, and you need a face up water monster, yeah. of course, of course. So the white holding. That card, when it was announced and released, really made Sky Striker players <laughs> fearing this card because it seemed so, so good yeah, in the and, mirror and match. Yeah, and a bit happy because <laughs> Yeah, you can use it with Shizuku, of course. Yeah, definitely. But just all your spells being negated, you already have to worry about other cards like anti spay Fragrance and also the Imperial Order and Secret Village as well. And then there comes another card that just negates spell cards. That's not too happy. Marcel, by the way, has no main deck spell trap removal apart from uh, Jamming Wave and Afterburners. And there is a <laughs> good chance that he banished both. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's talk about it. With his deck, he kind of committed to the combo matchup, didn't he? Yeah. And, like I mean, the whole building of his deck is really, really focused on the combo decks like August. Yeah. I mean, uh, 
Except for his side deck, which we're going to talk about in a second. Of course. But are you then just giving up game one to any kind of roguish back row deck like pure Sky Striker or let's say Altergeist or so? I mean, yeah, but that's like a risk people are willing to take, I feel, for the last. I mean, also, if you're playing combo without hand traps, you. Mm -hmm. That's contributes so hard to your first turn that true, you true. basically say, okay, if my opponent plays combo and I lose dice, then uh, he's going to win the game one. Okay, okay. That's okay for me, because I want to play this powerful deck. And I think that's what Marcel did. Yeah. Marcel really has been playing the Sky Striker deck for a while. Yep. He knows his Ray in and out. Yeah, definitely. He actually was in the semifinals of uh, his nationals, his Austrian nationals, yep. uh, with Sky Striker 2. And he also topped YC's Utrecht with it. Yeah, it, it was Trickster Sky Striker, wasn't it? For Utrecht? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for Utrecht it should have been... Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was yeah, Trickster and, and, Sky and, Striker. And uh, he also topped the Austrian Open. He was second place, but I think there he played uh, Orchest Thunder Dragon Guard Dragon. Yeah, he played the biggest combo deck available at that yeah. point, right? And he was really successful with it. I think he made second place there. What a versatile player. Definitely. Yeah, Who Marcel Hunt is <laughs> like one of the up and coming Yu Gi Oh yeah. players in the scene at the moment, right? Because he really is attending all the events in Europe and also he's like flying over the ocean, going to the American YCSs and he's like updating everybody on social media so everybody yeah. can join his journeys and so on. And it's pretty cool that he's having so much fun playing the game and he's enjoying and he it with everybody. Guys. Oh, goes and matches just too much. He can't beat it and he can't win in timeout. <laughs> and he can't. I mean, he could win in timeout, but uh, I think that's not going to happen against Paleozoics. Normally we'll not. Plenty of oh, But we can see his sideboard cards <laughs> that he picks up because, yeah, as we just talked yeah. about it, his game one versus back row decks is really, really bad. But let's go over his sideboard. I think okay. he can we change some stuff there. We have Super Poly, <laughs> yeah. which is going second versus combo decks. Great. Okay, we that have will not help here. Yeah. We have Solemn Judgment. Better. Decent. Decent. Better. It gets better. Triple Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Twin Twisters, <laughs> Triple Heavy Storm Duster. <laughs> wow! This is just all the back row removal in the game at the yeah. moment, basically. <laughs> and his opponent is playing a full back row deck. So we just saw Marcel immediately putting in all these cards, being yeah. like, yeah, I have to draw all of them now. But I mean, he really needs just the Heavy Storm Duster because White Howling versus the Twin Twister is oh, so that's hard. Low out because you're yeah. wasting one of your cards in hand as well. Yeah. But then, on the other end, <laughs> we have Nick from Pubble. Nick came prepared for Sky Striker, <laughs> let's say it like that. Who's just playing a super, super anti-back row sideboard yeah. as well. <laughs> He's actually sideboarding Typhoons. He's also sideboarding Unending Nightmare. <laughs> oh my God. He's sideboarding anti-spell fragrance and evenly matched. So this game, too, could just be a throw around with back row removal and field removal cards like evenly matched. Yeah, so I mean, evenly could really... Evenly is the card that could make the difference. Yes, definitely, because it can be the blowout at some point. And nobody plays around evenly yeah. anymore. Nobody Especially does. with the version Marshall is playing now. He's yeah, playing he Demise. Demise, so Demise he has to actually set into, yeah. everything. And Nick already looking forward to activate the yeah. evenly match, I can imagine. And Marcel is not playing like Solemn Judgment or so, because Nick can actually counter that evenly match that Marcel is not playing, but the potential no. evenly match with the Solemn Judgment. But Marcel does not play that. Because he has to commit so much to his uh, Imperial, uh, like uh, the Necro Valley and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has to draw on disease and he has no place for the Solemn Judgment because there's no need for it in his main deck, right? Yeah, but he has it in the side deck, so that, that could be his, his shot. But yeah, by the way, deck. talking about evenly matched, such a crazy card when it came out. Everybody was losing their minds because it was just so powerful. Yeah. What was your best evenly matched moment? <laughs> I think it was uh, at Croatian Nationals this year, actually. We all played versus True Draco, and I was playing Altergeist, so my matchup wasn't really, really yeah. good. <laughs> and he fully committed to his board. He made like a lot of plays with his cards. And then I'm just going battle phase, evenly matched, and yeah. he's like, yeah, I would have won that game every single time, but he and just had like, that one care. card. Yeah, <laughs> that evenly matched, just destroyed this true Draco deck. And it can be similarly powerful against yeah. the Sky Striker yeah. deck and also versus the Palazoic deck, but Nick does not have to fear this card in this matchup right now. In uh, Utrecht, I played going second true Draco. Yeah, tell me, you even the yeah. <laughs> this, this is what I wanted to go. Yeah, 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 sure. I, wanted to go I, I, I was <laughs> noticing that from the first moment <laughs> on, of course. So the, the best card to get to evenly is 
pot of duality because your opponent sees it coming. So if you excavate <laughs> evenly matched your opponent, you can just see the look on his face and he's like, no, <laughs> please <laughs> no, don't pick it, please don't coming. do it to me. <laughs> so, I mean, if you don't pick it and it's good, <laughs> then you have it already. So. Oh, and we already can see the starting hands and we <gasps> see that Nick van Poppel actually no. managed to pick up evenly matched in his starting hand. So we were hyping the card, we were talking about our evenly matched moments. Yes. And it could become the evenly and matched moment Ma of Ma Nick now. Marcel's hand is so crazy. Oh. He has Jamming Wave, he has Heavy Throw Duster, he has Cosmic Cyclone. But if he starts, then he might set everything. Does he? If he doesn't draw into Demise, he might... Wow, but like, look at Max, uh, Nick's hand. He has Demise, Swap Frog. And he has everything. <laughs> Dynamiscus, wow. card of Demise and yeah, Permanence. Be better read your evenly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. He's just reading his evenly right so now. Do, do I win with this? <laughs> is, it, so is it really that good? <laughs> but seeing the hand of Marcel, he does not really have, like, any of his big draw cards. Uh, yeah, he has Into the Void. Okay, he has Into the Void, so... Like, he wants to actually draw into Card of Demise with it, but as we see the hand of Nick, he actually should be afraid yeah. of drawing into yeah. Card of Demise here. He does want to draw into Card of Demise. That would play heavily into the evenly matched here. So it seems like our judges are typing in the starting hand at the moment, so that you can see them on the screen as well. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, look how Nick was so nervous before the feature match, and now he just sits there being super He's just calm. He's stone cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. He's looking to the side, being like, when is this over? Where can I finally resolve my evening match? <laughs> <laughs> give, give me my results slip, please. <laughs> yeah, so there we see it. He goes yeah. first with the terraforming. Do you think that's the correct choice? Because you don't want to draw it with the Into the Void, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so... I think you're setting the jamming wave at this point. Oh, so you actually activate the effect of this car of the Area Zero first two before the Into the Void? Probably, right? Yeah. Maybe oh, not. Okay, okay. That's, I don't think it matters too much. I mean, it Does it? How, how high is it? I'm not that good at math. <laughs> like, how high is the percentage of drawing a non all the Twin Twisters as well? This draw can be really, really, really important. So Into the Void was used, a card that wasn't very popular for a long time, but then some people started to pick it up again. Yeah. Actually, if you have three or more cards in your hand, you can just yeah. draw one card. But engage. you have to discard your whole hand in the end. Engage, place. engage, engage. Oh, oh wow, he Marcel doesn't Hans. hit again. And Never look at lucky. Him shaking his head. And yeah. I was just saying it. This card basically does the same than yeah. Card of Demise in the end phase. So right, he actually I forgot about that. I was just realizing that too. He has to set everything now. He lost. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's not say it that way, but he's really in a bad position no, of, right Of course. There. Marcel oh, always look, I think Nick just announced Battle Phase. Oh, and Marcel is <laughs> he's nodding. He's playing it in Marcel the main monster nodding. zone. This is not how you play trap cards, my friend. This is not how you play trap cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, evenly match is such a powerful card that you, you just, I, I also like, you just slam it on the board. Yes. That's I mean, it does not matter where you put it. Your opponent has to see it. And yeah. then if you activate it from hand, then there is no way your opponent can block it with impermanence because obviously you're not having a monster on the field. Look at Marcel's face. He's really in pain right now. So what do you keep, even keep here? You have. You have the um, heavy, storm heavy storm duster, twin twister, cycling. I think you keep the heavy duster, storm right? duster, but yeah. uh, there comes swap rock. Oh my god! So now Marcel realizes that Ma Nick has all of his stuff available already, and he will actually activate card of demise as well very soon. And Marcel, I don't know whether he can even take that anymore. Then or this when, is when, he, so when he will just scoop uh, This is this is so painful to watch even. Marcel is just sitting there on his one heavy storm duster, and there is much more to come than just the swap rock. Yeah, and let's say Nick now activates the demise and actually goes for full five back row. Oh, oh, that actually kind of plays into the heavy storm duster. I was about to ask you, when he then sets five back row, do you activate the heavy storm duster on two of them blindly, or do you wait with the duster then? I, I think you would need your back row removal for floodgates. Yeah, but I agree. Marcel immediately passes. Looks like it. That pickup wasn't too good, it seems. Oh, he actually picked up Twin Twister for his yeah, turn. He has draw. another evenly matched in hand, right? Yeah, he does have another evenly matched. So I think this is the turn where you go uh, for. I mean, why didn't he go for Demise in the last turn? I mean, he didn't special summon anything, or did he? He did not, but maybe he did not want to search the uh, set the evenly. Oh no, he draw evenly for turn, right? Yeah. So that's really, really interesting of decision, but. 
Marcel couldn't capitalize on it yeah. because his top deck was a twin twister. I mean, maybe him sideboarding yeah. in so many back row removal yeah. cards hurt him in some way because he basically drew all of them yeah. right there. I mean, and now this this turn you don't go for demise, obviously. Uh, this is this is no, a, this toad is much a toad better. Turn, toad yeah. is much better. Totally awesome. We saw it being very good in our one one feature match, and it seems like Nick is getting good use out of it here now. I mean, too. we've seen it win a wise, yes. That is absolutely <laughs> true as well. We actually had that as a quiz yeah. question in That's our true. quick... Uh, Don't spoil her! Oh yeah, you will have to watch the whole coverage, and in between breaks you will see the mini games we played no, over no. Let's the course of this. yesterday. You will want to watch the entire coverage. Absolutely. 100%. Make sure to definitely do so. And yeah, there was a question involving around that Paleozoic deck yeah. that uh, Yeshua Schmidt actually was playing for his YCS win, right? Yep, indeed. So Marcel is going over his options, which are, let's say, fairly limited. limited. <laughs> he <laughs> has Engage, which is a good top deck, and this is the card you want to see, but there is also Totally Awesome, which is a card you don't want to see, so now oh, you just, just pass. Passes. No standby phase activation of Totally Awesome. Also interesting, also interesting. Uh, maybe he just forgot. I mean, it's the featured match, and honestly, sometimes you can't really blame him, right? Sometimes when you're in a game like this, <laughs> and, and you know you're going to win and everyone sees it, you don't think about this. You, you are in such a good spot that you maybe forget something like this. Sometimes players actually recover, which wouldn't have happened if, if, if an effect like this would have been activated. I mean, yeah. it's one more monster. Absolutely. And basically like one more Swamp Frog activation, probably. So uh, that... Looks like Marcel's plan right there was to actually get another card in his next turn, so he yeah. has something to bait out. Yeah, so he can use Twin Twister in the draw phase. Yeah. Uh, and so totally has to negate it and then try to play with the... Okay, exactly. so I, I was actually thinking that he would go for an OTK now. I mean, you can bounce back the Swap Frog, normal summon it again, or normal summon it for the first time, and then send another Ronin Toad in, and then you go into uh, Mr. Boy, and then you go for Toad, and summon back another monster, and then you have game. Problem. Yeah, definitely. So, stamp by face, totally awesome. And Marcel does not activate his Twin Twister yet. The card he picked up for turn is not in our system yet. But let's hope for him that he can use it. There it is, Hornet Drones. Okay, that's a card he could play with. But in the back row of Nick, we already have the Trap Trick, which can fetch him out any trap card he wants. So that's not yeah. a good thing to look out for. Any normal trap card, rather. But that's, that should not make a difference. So now he discards the Hornet Drones for the Twin Twisters. I mean, you don't care. There's just one card left in his hand, right? You don't tribute your Totally Awesome now. Yeah, you're right. You, you just let that through, okay? That's you fine. lose your two back row that cards. Is, that is so fine. And then you can just negate the last card in hand. And I mean, the but way I mean, Master looks at him kind of indicates that that last card is his last hope, so you should really yeah. save the negate no, he changed that. Trap Trick and he's going to search out White Howling. Okay, yes. <laughs> that should definitely be I, the I trick I mean, he here. doesn't have to search out White Howling at this point. He didn't tribute the Toad, so... Uh, doesn't really care too much about the Oh, last he was stopping by for <laughs> the White Howling a second, but... I mean, you just want to get super sure, yep. right? Yep, he <laughs> is picking <laughs> the White Howling. Look at Marcel's Howling. face. He is so sad. He oh. reveals the last card in his hand, which is Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. And with that, Nick Van Poppel goes 3-0 in the YCS London, winning versus Marcel Hunch. Yeah, that was Not rather quick. Not really the closest game, to be honest. No. Uh, we were really hyped to see the Necro Valley action, which did not really come up. Not at all. Uh, but it wouldn't have been good in this matchup anyway, so... He did not lose <laughs> with not having the Necro Valley and Royal Tribute combo available, yeah. but he rather lost to a very unfortunate matchup I mean, in I mean, total. It, it would have helped, because then there wouldn't have been the Dupe Frog that has okay. 2,000 defense points, which is apparently a stopper for Skystriker. I mean, we know that it is right yeah, now. Yeah, but the sheer power of back row from Nick would have been enough to actually grind out I mean, this there game is basically, anyways. after Desires, there was no out to Gozen match, and Gozen match right. just blocks out Skystriker forever. That's why Marcel actually scooped so early, right? Yeah. Because he realized, yeah, I cannot even attack yeah. anymore. I cannot it, make any other monsters, so that's basically game. What was that pot of Desires? He banished triple engage, and after burner jamming wave? Ouch. That's the risk of playing this card. No, no, that's not the risk of playing this card, honestly. It the is. risk of playing I this mean, card is banishing many resources, <laughs> not your entire deck. <laughs> Every card he wants to have in his deck this is yeah. just banished. You might as well just take the card and, and try to banish 40 cards, draw okay. two. But now, how do you see the tournament of Marcel actually progressing? Because you build a deck that is really, really good versus the most represented deck, which is Orcus in this tournament. So you really want to play versus the deck a lot. 
and so it is very favorable for you to win the first few rounds. So you're that then at the top table, yeah. so you have to play that orchestra deck yeah. a lot of the time. M maybe but maybe he was hoping that like I'm 2-0 already, so maybe yeah. I can get through with this. Yeah, yeah. But then there was the first Paleozoic deck. Exactly. So now he's in danger of actually facing a lot of rogue decks when he's like moving down yeah. the pairings because he's not all the standings rather, and he's not in the top contender spots anymore. I mean, he's still well in tournament and he can just yeah. win all, the, all of his rounds yeah. and he can I'm even lose one. I'm anymore. pretty confident in Marcel. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's a great player. Um, Sky Striker has always been one of the most complicated decks absolutely, to play. Absolutely. I mean, unless you draw. 20 engages in your first <laughs> turn and foolish political goods. Then the deck kind <laughs> then of Then everybody plays could itself. play it, right? Yeah. But uh, I think talking about this guy striker deck, of course, um, your options to have a high skill cap are rather limited now, isn't it? It actually you, is. You cannot do so many aggressive plays. Yes, yes. You have less decision making because yeah. you only have that one Kagari. I mean, of course, it is still. Uh, a big decision if you want to go for the engage in the first turn and then immediately using your yeah. Kagari or keeping it, trying to get advantage through only Shizuku <laughs> until you need the Kagari. That is still really hard. But Absolutely right. But now with less and less Sky Striker cards being in the deck, as yeah. you said, we have to replace them with trap cards or more generic yeah. cards in total. Um, or Royal Tribute and or Necro Valley. <laughs> Royal Tribute and Necro Valley. You actually uh, are not hitting with your Area Zero yeah. as much as before anymore. So that really hurts the deck as well. As we saw, Marcel actually tries yeah. having that scenario not hitting with his field spell. Yeah, and I mean, that really he, hurts. besides in Cosmic Cyclone, mm -hmm. which I completely agree on, yeah. uh, I mean, you want to get rid of Crescendos, which you can't with MST because then Dingirso is just going to block that. Um, he could have used Mystical Space Typhoon to pop his own area to get into the Ray, to get into the Shizuku and actually play so yeah. that his opponent is not just going, yeah, I have some cards, I just win. <laughs> um, so yeah. he has engaged in hand. But True. as we just heard, uh, the interview is ready, so why don't we just go over to the winner, Nick Van Poppel and JJ. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you, guys. Um, I'm here with Nick, our third round feature match winner. How are you feeling about the matchup, man? How it, like, it looked like it was kind of... A bit rough at the start of game one, and but then it kind of got a bit easier because he figured out what he was playing, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it was uh, the point that I figured out he was playing Star Sky Strike because I was already quite happy because I know it's a very good matchup against uh, my deck. I'm very anti spells, and they don't like that. Uh, especially citing, you know, anti spell fragrance and twisters. We haven't seen that in years, so that was kind of very interesting to see. Um, like, why did you want to go so anti Sky Striker actually? Well, this is specifically against Sky Strikers. I just built my deck up to be yeah, a little bit of anti-meta. And yeah, Sky Strikers is my best matchup. So that was really nice. So then, um, you know, taking down round three, how do you feel about the rest of the event now? Well, I'm curious about what I'm going to play against next. Yeah, it's been all three been good matches with the nice people. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been a nice day already so far. And whatever happens, happens. Okay, well, that's good words to live by. Well, Nick, thank you for stopping by. No problem. Thank you guys for tuning on in. There'll be more YCS coverage after this.